I've always loved everything about music. When I was little, I really wanted to play the drums. The idea of creating noise was an issue I think my family learned to accept about me. I don't think I would have ever seen myself playing guitar or singing at that age. My parents used to joke about me learning multiple instruments and just being a one-man band. And I just remember thinking that that was the most ridiculous thing. I originally started this as an acoustic-only project to write songs about my life, and here we are now. I put my all into this record, two years and it's done. I wanted to make a more natural sounding record than my previous releases, and I was able to accomplish that thanks to Steve and Chris from Kennedy Studios in Burlington, Massachusetts. They've produced every release I've done, and it only made sense to go back to them for my full length. We've all grown together as musicians and friends over the past couple of years. The three of us work very well together, and I think we all just have this mindset where we want to be able to make the best sounding thing possible while still having as much fun as we can recording it. I also couldn't have done this without some of the best people in the Massachusetts local scene and other people that I've met online and while touring. I had a couple of different friends that are in bands help by adding vocals and instrumentation and even ideas for composition. I always wanted When All We Love Is Lost to be a project where I wrote everything, but the final outcome would be shaped a little different than originally anticipated because of the addition of all of my friends' ideas, talents, and abilities. I've met so many wonderful people all over the country who have helped me with my music, and I could never thank them enough. Without the support of so many awesome people, I don't think that I would have been as happy with the final outcome. The name of the full length is merely a formality. I struggled with multiple names, but this is the one that I felt best summed up my feelings about the record and where I was when I completed it. I had gone through a lot of crazy circumstances over the year that I was writing the lyrics to the record. And at the time, those things really bothered me. But when I looked back on everything when I was done, I realized that I had grown and learned a lot about myself. The problems I were facing at that time were just a formality that people go through. I think it's just a little different for everyone. I was able to incorporate multiple themes and some lyrics from previous releases to tie this record to a certain point in my life. I've always been fascinated by bands who use theming in their music because it can evoke a certain feeling in the listener a sense of familiarity and comfort. I hope people can find the little nuances that we threw into this record. While this is the end of the first chapter in When All We Love Is Lost, I plan to keep this going for as long as I can. If I were to never make any more music, I would be content because I was able to do the music I always wanted to.